Hey guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> so what I'm going to be doing today, guys, is showing you how to make your own eyelash shampoo cleanser using Prolong Eyelash Extension Daily Facial Cleanser Concentrate. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this today. Also, I will be giving you guys some tips on what you can use in your eyelash shampoo kit. This is just a little example on what I use on my own shampoo kits. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into it and show you guys how to make this. Alright, so what we're going to be using today is the Prolong Cleanser. You can actually buy this on their website for $32.95 for 100 milliliters um, plus tax. I believe it came out to almost $45. The directions here have are listed but i'm not going to go ahead and follow this i sort of already made my own that's going to match the 50 milliliter bottle that i have it includes the ingredients and so on um so yeah let's go ahead and i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make your own cleanser using prolong all right so this is what my f shampoo looks like i purchased this bottle off of amazon this sticker off of etsy this size is a 50 milliliter foaming um, shampoo cleansing container. These stickers I purchased off of Etsy, which is a pack of 24 for 1040, which I love. And she actually worked really well with me to get the design that I wanted. And you can purchase these black sheer bags off of Amazon as well. Um, Everything that I post on here, I will go ahead and list in the description on where I purchase them how much they were and also i do include a lip mask hydrating mask which i sell separate as well for two dollars and then i go ahead and throw in a share the love for a friend 20 percent off card and also these brushes of course off of amazon for 9.99 and then these spoolies which of course again i purchased off of etsy you can get them for 10 for 12 dollars or 60 for 40 dollars and make some profit about a hundred dollars and then i include an information card which i made personally on my own i don't know it just gives it a little classy look to it um and i just go ahead and throw that in there all right guys so we're just gonna go ahead and jump in how to make the actual solution now so what I'm going to be using to measure is a medicine measuring cup. I'm pretty sure if you guys don't have one laying around at the house, you guys can go ahead and purchase one off of Amazon. As long as it has listed 10 milliliters, that's what we'll be using. Now what we're going to do, um, so this is the solution. You actually have to mix it with distilled water. It cannot be regular water, which you can purchase at a grocery store, at the 99 cent store. Since I don't have distilled water with me, we're going to go ahead and pretend that I'm pouring the actual um, cleanser into the medicine cup. So let's just pretend that we're pouring 10 milliliters of the solution into the cup. So I'm going to go ahead and get my solution, aka pretend solution here. And we're going to go ahead and pour 10 milliliters into my medicine cup. And we're going to go ahead and um, put this into the empty foam bottle. Do not look at my ugly tattoo. I've had it for 15 years. I'm just so scared to get it removed. And so this is the solution. 10 milliliters. We're going to go ahead and pour it into this empty container. You can also purchase these for $9.99 off of Amazon, which um, come with about 10 of them. So that was the solution, guys. 10 milliliters into this container. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and add 40 milliliters of distilled water into the shampoo bottle, which we just put the solution in. So since I don't have 40 milliliters in a cap, we're going to go ahead and divide it by 10, uh, four times. So we're going to go ahead and put 10 milliliters of distilled waters time four into the the bottle you do not want to go ahead and fill it all the way to the top because once you do do that and you put the lid on everything is going to overflow and you're going to make just a big old mess so just go ahead and follow these directions if you're doing 50 milliliters um so just go ahead and fill it up four times with the distilled water and then once you're done um let me just show you what this looks like so you don't really have a good view so let me just go ahead and get my camera 
and change the view to what you guys can see what I have left and it actually fits perfectly. All right, so this is what it looks like at this angle. So when we put the lid on, it's not going to overflow it. Make sure that when you're putting on the lid that you put the lid on properly. If not, it's going to just make a big old mess and then there's going to go all your hard work. But this is what it looks like. Didn't spill nothing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just pretend that this is the one that we just made since this is the one with the solution. Just give it a good shake. And uh, you're going to see the bubbles create maybe not be as much as this one only because this bottle only had half of it because it's the one that I use on a daily basis. Um, so what you're going to do, you're just going to go ahead and pour a few pumps onto the lash brush. Um, but to test it, you're going to go ahead and just use your hand and it should look like this when completed. And that is beautiful, perfect foamy shampoo. I absolutely love this cleanser. Um, I don't use anything else when doing lashes. I do not prime. Uh, I only give them a lash bath and it honestly does wonders. And this is what I sell for $15. It's honestly the best thing ever. The girls love it. Their lashes last a long time. If you are keeping up with your shampoo on a daily basis, if you're wearing makeup all the time, uh, any questions that you guys have, just let me know. Drop them down in the comments below. I will go ahead and list everything that I used in this video in the description. Uh, this is what I purchased off Amazon with the bottles. It came with 10 of them. You can get them for $9.99. And everything else will be listed. If you guys have any questions, any suggestions, if you guys want to make me, want me to make any other videos, just go ahead and let me know and I will go ahead and do my best on doing that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I promise you guys there's going to be tons more coming. So hopefully you guys liked it. Thanks. Bye.